what's up and welcome back to the channel. Had a few nice days here in Portland, Oregon, so had a chance to get the Mini 2 up. So let's get to it. So did my pre-flight check, got the GPS calibrated, set my return to home to 400 feet, the maximum altitude. Um, we were up here at about uh, 600 feet and the plan here was to go ahead and go in a northeasterly direction towards our office building, which is about a mile and a half away by line of sight, and then be able to uh, land. Uh, we got a little bit of a flat roof there. Um, just here in the afternoon, uh, weather forecast was uh, just some clouds, but no rain. So figured it was kind of a nice day just to go ahead and take off and fly. Uh, here we are, you can see um, heading towards uh, Northwest Portland. Um, there, that's uh, Montgomery Park uh, building there over towards the left center of the screen. Um, uh, it's a, a large office building. Uh, over on the right side, you can actually see the Fremont Bridge there and the uh, Willamette River. Again, we're heading here in kind of a north direction, uh, northeasterly actually, um, over towards uh, Northwest Flats. Uh, you can see uh, Chapman Elementary School there over in the um, uh, bottom right hand corner of the photo video. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're heading out over here. We're going to go ahead and drop an elevation just a little bit uh, so that we um, uh, stay under um, 400 feet. Uh, we're going to head over here a little bit more to the east. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the uh, camera flipped down, uh, looking down here over uh, Northwest uh, Cornell. Um, this is uh, one of the commuter streets uh, between Beaverton and uh, getting into a downtown, though since the pandemic, uh, it's been uh, pretty lightly traveled. Uh, right around here, um, we are, uh, you know, probably uh, about three blocks, four blocks from the office and uh, ended up actually running into a little bit of an issue. Um, ended up getting uh, loss of signal, which uh, hadn't seen that happen before. I uh, figured since we were line of sight, we wouldn't have a problem. I uh, did want to be careful here just from an elevation perspective, bringing it up too high because I wanted to stay under um, the 400 foot limit. Uh, here you can see how we're heading down um, by Northwest Petty Grove. Uh, there's Northwest, uh, looks like Northwest uh, 28th. And this is actually where we kind of uh, hit a standstill, um, lost communication with the drone and um, just uh, kind of sitting waiting. Uh, I ended up repositioning myself a little bit to see if we could pick that signal back up, but um, did uh, get uh, uh, communication back and we were able to spin it around a little bit here. Now we're actually looking more a little bit towards the, uh, the west um, going there. I wonder if we can uh, uh, actually get over here to the office. Um, right around here, we're starting to initiate a um, uh, return to home. You can see we're actually uh, gaining altitude. Um, not too big of a deal, but still wanted just to be careful and uh, just mindful that uh, we wanted to you know, be in an appropriate elevation, uh, but also realizing that if for some reason there are just some trees in the way, that maybe this might not be the, uh, the day to be able to do this for whatever reason. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Return to home, crossing back over here, Northwest Cornell, uh, heading in a um, uh, uh, southerly direction. Uh, there you can see Northwest Westover, uh, looks like Northwest uh, Fairfax. Um, just uh, heading back uh, towards the house here. You can see uh, just, uh, there's Northwest uh, Luray. Um, perhaps never, this is the old uh, Kuchenberg Mansion. Uh, Scott Thomason used to be a car dealer here in town. That's his place that we're just passing over there, the one with the swimming pool. Uh, that actually used to be all one big property that ended up getting subdivided. Um, back over here over Northwest uh, Luray, see one of the uh, couple houses there with the flat roofs. Still don't quite get that for, uh, for Portland. Um, anyhow, just, uh, just cruising along here. Uh, this is all uh, along uh, Northwest Luray. You can see uh, a little bit of traffic or so, not too bad. A lot of trees here, so um, had uh, brought the altitude up a little bit. Uh, looks like we're down uh, crossing over uh, Northwest 
Uh, it looks like um, uh, Fairfax, or actually Northwest Shenandoah, there's that house uh, with the solar panels. Uh, you can see here a lot of these houses. Um, the older ones are actually built uh, uh, into the uh, dirt, but a lot of these ones, like what we're passing over right now, these are actually built on stilts. So kind of interesting when you're walking along, just a whole host of um, different construction uh, uh, methods, whether they're steel posts or uh, uh, even um, just uh, telephone poles uh, holding up the uh, holding up the houses. Uh, back over uh, another pass heading uh, towards the north. Um, over here, again, this is uh, the northwest uh, uh, Fairfax, the northwest Shenandoah. You can see some of these uh, terracotta roofs too, all sorts of different style uh, roofs, lots of um, asphalt or shingle roofs, but you'll see some ce uh, cedar shake too. Uh, but uh, yeah, some of the uh, the older uh, homes there with, the, uh, with those terracotta tiles. So uh, yeah, just over here, over uh, Northwest uh, uh, Fairfax, uh, it looks like, yeah, there's another swimming pool there. Yeah, you see a few of those around here. And then uh, back over uh, northwest, uh, uh, west over. Yeah, there you can actually see uh, uh, the speed bumps here, the right uh, mid screen, uh, passing over that. Uh, and then heading over uh, northwest uh, summit, again, heading here in the north northeast direction. And then north uh, northwest Cornell, uh, where you can uh, see that uh, pedestrian crossing down there. Uh, trying to make another go at it here, seeing if we can get down to the office building. Um, we're only actually about four blocks away here. You can see uh, Northwest Petty Grove coming into the uh, the top of the screen. Yeah, definitely not a lot of traffic here. Uh, we'll go ahead and flip the camera around. Uh, looks like we're not having a lot of luck here getting to the office uh, building uh, at this time. So yeah, I'll just take a look here. You can uh, see... Uh, Looking over here in a westerly direction, uh, yeah, just some of the uh, some of the houses. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just a really neat neighborhood. Um, most of these homes are probably uh, they're valued in the one to uh, maybe even uh, three million dollar range or so. Um, heading over uh, uh, Shenandoah and Fairfax. Yeah, you can see a lot of these. Uh, the names here; these are all uh, based on um, uh, uh, Virginia. Uh, back over the old uh, Kuchenberg uh, estate. Again, that was all uh, one uh, property that ended up getting subdivided. Yeah, we're gonna bring the altitude up a little bit here. Just, uh, we've got a lot of tall cedar and uh, fir trees, so wanna be careful there. Spin it back around. Um, over here, back to uh, Northwest uh, Cumberland. And uh, you can also see on uh, Northwest Powhatan. Again, uh, more uh, more Virginia names. Yeah, a lot of these uh, cool older homes. You can see a little uh, Spanish uh, villa there. Uh, that's actually on a double lot. And then uh, Northwest Cumberland back around. Uh, yeah, you would actually take this uh, road if you're heading down towards that Northwest 23rd uh, shopping district. Uh, you can see Northwest Luray there over on the left side, and then that's Northwest Shenandoah on the uh, uh, on the right side of the screen. So yeah, Shenandoah and Northwest Luray running in parallel there. So yep, just a nice day here. So flying along, uh, you can see a little more modern house there. That one's been around for about uh, ten years there. Uh, a couple of those houses with the uh, with the flat roofs. Just, yeah, just a nice neighborhood here. Yeah, lots of, kind of a mix of uh, different homes. Yeah, as we're going through here, a lot of this, uh, these homes were um, more uh, mid-century. You can see actually that uh, home that's uh, under construction. That actually was a home built in about 1950 or so that was uh, completely demolished and is now being uh, rebuilt, uh, more, uh, more modern. Uh, still some pretty cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for flying with me, and we'll see you in the next video.